All right. Well, let's uh, move on to uh, one more. Well, a couple. I get a couple more things I wanted to talk to you about, but right. uh, the uh, stock market apparently went uh, bonkers yesterday because uh, the Fed indicated that um, that they may be looking at yeah. rate cuts in twenty twenty four, and and maybe a coincidence that you had written just days <laughs> ago that they should be looking at rate cuts. I don't know. Uh, I think you tell me. Absolutely a coincidence. <laughs> uh, well, no, I mean, are I, you I, suggesting I, what? No, I think it's data driven. I right. mean, you know, we have uh, very successfully uh, seen inflation drop to basically the level that the fed wants. I mean, if you look at six months, their favorite measure, which is personal consumption expenditures, uh, you look at the last six months and it's at 2%. 2% is sort of this target for inflation. Um, uh, so, and, and I don't want to, I don't want to raise my hands in victory to the federal reserve for doing that. It, it was very clearly, and we're seeing more evidence of this day after day, very cle clearly about supply chain easing. 100%. Uh, and uh, so what we have now is the Fed having raised rates for over a year. Uh, the uh, the uh, inflation has come down. Uh, the Fed rates are doing damage. I mean, we may not see it yet in the unemployment statistics, but we certainly are seeing it in uh, housing starts. We're seeing it in research and development, which dropped in the third quarter of the year. We're seeing it in uh, rising rents, delay, rising rents, delayed production of uh, factories, delayed production of a lot of these new energy things, which are front loaded in terms of the capital costs that you have and that those capital costs go up. So the impact of interest rates is real and it, it's 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 long lasting, too, because, you know, uh, right now, uh, a lot of people haven't moved because if they move and they have to get another, I'm talking about homeowners right now, yep. if they have to get another home, their, their, their mortgage rate will, will rise significantly. But eventually people do move uh, or, or they do sell their homes. And so uh, the, the impact of those rates will only grow in the future. It's the same with corporate loans. Uh, as they roll over, the rates get higher. These things only get worse over time. And so, uh, you know, I, I talked to some folks at Employ America, which has been making this case for significant rate reductions in 2024. If you want to credit anyone for what the Fed did, it'd be Employ America more than me. But, um, uh, you know, their points were uh, unemployment problems happen suddenly. And, and and once we're in the middle of them, it's hard to get them to stop. So that's number one. Number two is be consistent. When inflation went up a bit, uh, you you raised rates. Now that it's come down, be consistent. Uh, uh, that speaks to credibility and 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 how business participants can handle it. And then three, what I was talking about about the long term impact of high interest rates. I, I, the best way to, to describe this, I was trying to explain this uh, uh, to my kid, is like in terms of like how these rates can have an impact. It's like when you're in the shower and you get in and it feels a little bit cold. And so you push the thing down to hot. But the hot water takes a little bit to get through the system. All the mm -hmm. cold water has got to push out. And then all of a sudden you're there and that's when you get scalded. And that is, I think, like the... The, the, the fear here is that this is all building up. It was um, largely unnecessary because of, of, of these, the, the inflation issues being largely a function of, I mean, certainly between um, uh, uh, supply chain and profiteering, and then just well, some and, coincidental and, and the war. And, and, and the, and, the war and, and the, the in war, terms yeah. of oil prices. And and some coincidental things like you know uh, the the bird flu for the chickens and and yeah. uh, and, and some uh, other issues. All those things um, sort of conspired, uh, and you know the fact that we had uh, a pandemic um, that that also changed consumption habits slightly for a period of time that are slowly returning back to to sort of some type of baseline. Um, it. it 
I, I think the 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 rental stuff and being locked into um, you know uh, that the housing that that people have at this point, they they hold off on that other kid because they can't get into a bigger apartment or a bigger house. Um, people can't go in and get their first houses. You have building starts. All of that stuff has conspired. Um, okay. and, it, and so, if the Fed, if the Fed actually does do what they say they're going to do and, and start bringing rates down. I mean, you could get a virtuous circle going where uh, suddenly it, it's it's better to invest. Investment happens because it's buffeted by the Inflation Reduction Act. Instead of us offsetting that by high interest rates, we're now playing into it. And, uh, you know, with the with the various public investment available, we'll see more factories being built. That's more jobs. Uh, and uh, as infl if inflation stays moderate, and people sort of get accustomed to this price level while wages continue to rise, uh, you could see, you know, good things happening in, in 2024. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how that impacts the perspective on, on the economy. I mean, I think there's other right. factors, but I think housing is, is a huge part. And, and all, you know, repayments of student debt and all of those things all play into this. Um, Speaking of housing, I just saw a headline that homelessness is up 12% to its highest level um, since reporting began in 2007, according to the Associated Press. So, like, mm -hmm. these numbers about uh, the economy, is that we need to be starting to calculate housing into uh, the way that, like, uh, people are necessarily feeling the effects of that, that economy. I, I mean, we, we seem to realize that when uninsurance premiums were unaffordable, that you'd have a higher rate of uninsured. When, when housing costs yeah. are very high, you have a higher rate of homeless people. Um, 